welcome to our interview series where we speak to channel chiefs of global technology firms about the channel. So today we have TB here. TB is the SVP of channels in APJ for Dell Technologies. Good morning. Good morning, Gina. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for having me here. Um, really nice to be here at the Singapore Botanical Gardens, which I think is really appropriate for the Thrive team at this year's Canalyst Forum event. Yeah, definitely. Why not we head into the bandstand to continue our chat? Sure, let's go. Such a nice place here. Yeah, yeah, it's very nice. Okay, thanks for joining us today. So today, uh, we'll be talking a bit about Dell, like what has been happening in the last 12 months and um, what's upcoming in the next year. And our theme for Canalis Channels Forums this year is Thrive. So we're looking at how we can thrive as organizations, as individuals, and at the same time, emphasizing how we can do this in more sustainable ways. So TB, my very first question to you is, how have you been personally thriving in 2021? What are your personal learnings? Yeah, 2021 has really been a very unprecedented year, you know, since the pandemic last year. And I think like many, you know, regional execs prior to COVID, I was traveling a lot, right? I was on the plane and in hotels and it's been a big change, obviously, right? Um, you know, not being able to travel and frankly, a bit overwhelmed by the number of virtual meetings, which I'm sure all of us had, right? Uh, but I think I've sort of found a nice balance, uh, you know, for myself too, right? Uh, you know, right now, and I think I've sort of learned two things, mm -hmm. you know, sort of personal learnings myself, right? I think number one is that this, you know, balance is really not rigid. It's sort of flexible, frankly, right? Depending on the sort of the period you're in, for example, during quarter end, which is actually right now, <laughs> uh, you know, tend to be more busy and I tend to work longer hours, but during the off peak sort of weeks, I obviously work lesser hours. Right, so that's one, and then number two, um, sort of the other person learning is really self care, right? I, I think as leaders, you know, you need to care for yourself first, take care of yourself, you know, then you can really do a good job taking care of, uh, you know, your team members. I see. So, what about the partner community at Dell? Like, what have you been seeing from them? Well, um, you know, partners are really thriving too, actually, right? Doing, uh, you know, really, really well. I mean, for us globally. Um, you know, the last 12 months, the channel business brought in 58 billion, uh, you know, uh, dollars in revenue. And here in APJ, uh, just in our recent quarter two results, our revenue grew 34% year over year. And we had strong double digit growth in, across all our business lines. So business is really thriving and doing well. And partners are doing well. You know, in fact, um, just uh, uh, over the recent quarter, we paid out about 27% more rebates to our partners, right? Because the business is growing so well. So I think the partners are really thriving, which is, uh, you know, great news. Okay, so sustainability is a very important topic and it's part of our Thrive team this year. Um, what has Dell been doing on the sustainability front? Uh, well, sustainability is, uh, you know, always really important. I think that's why, you know, we're, we're here in this, uh, you know, botanical garden, which is so nice here, right? Um, for us, uh, we have, our um, sort of vision, right, uh, for, for social good, we call progress made real, which is by 2030, we want to achieve sort of four things, right? Uh, number one is sustainability, right? That's going to be really key. Number two is around diversity and inclusion, which is also really important for us. In fact, we set a goal for DNI that by uh, 2030, right, 50% of our team members should be diverse and 40% uh, of our managers, right, uh, you know, should be diverse. Uh, the third one is really, um, you know, around um, doing social good. You know, in fact, we set a goal that we want to transform one billion lives by using technology. Uh, and then finally, you know, last but not least is around privacy and ethics, right? So sort of four goals as part of Progress Made Real. So in APJ, is there anything in particular that's happening on the sustainability front um, in the upcoming quarter? Yes, uh, you know, in fact, one thing that we're really proud of for the channel community is that, you know, we have market development funds where, you know, our partners actually use it to run events and, you know, activities. And as part of that, actually, this year, we announced that our partners can use their MDX uh, for actually, uh, you know, charity for CSR, right? So, in fact, that's pretty exciting. And, uh, you know, quite a few of our partners are really excited and started to use their MDF uh, for, you know, CSR events. That's very nice. So let's move on to the APJ region. So as you know, APJ is a very varied region. Um, there are some markets that are more mature and some that are still developing. So what have you seen in the past year? How has the market performed? Are there any that stood out in particular? 
Well, on a whole, as I mentioned, our business has been really, you know, doing really, really well. In fact, all countries across, um, you know, the APJ region has been really, uh, you know, surging and really doing really well. Maybe one market can call out is India. I think as everyone knew, India unfortunately went through really tough COVID situation. Uh, but I think they've really rebounded really well. So if I look at sort of recent results, uh, you know, India has really sort of surged, yeah, you know, in terms of performance. So we were talking about challenges earlier, and one of the biggest challenge that was faced by the tech industry was the global supply chain issues. Um, however, when I was talking to APJ partners, I actually heard anecdotally that Dell was doing considerably well on that front. So could you share a bit more about what Dell has been doing in managing these challenges? Yeah, thanks, Gina. I think it's really, uh, you know, gratifying to hear, right, the, the feedback. And I've heard similar feedback when, you know, speaking to many partners, right? I think number one is that, look, we're really proud of our world-class supply chain and global procurement and manufacturing teams, right? I think even prior to COVID was quite well-known, yeah. you know, on, on, on our strengths there. In fact, I, I know that many sort of MBA classes actually study sort of the Dell, uh, uh, you know, business model, right? So I think, um, you know, number one really, yeah, is due to the world-class supply chain manufacturing teams. Number two really is also due to the scale, right, of Dell. I mean, we are a over 90, over billion dollar company. And you can just imagine, right, with that kind of scale, you can imagine that we're in a much better position uh, to negotiate with suppliers, uh, you know, with component uh, contract manufacturers. I think so th this has been some of the key factors why we have been able to do, I think, so well. But look. You know, I think, um, you know, by no means we are overly confident. We are definitely going to work hard, right, to continue to, uh, you know, meet our partners' requirements. But happy to say, I think this has been reflected in the recent PC share results, right? The most recent Q2 share results, I think we picked up the most share among all the PC vendors, right? So I think we'll continue to work hard here. That's very good to hear. So um, what can partners expect on this front um, in the next year? Well, focus areas uh, for partners, I think, are, uh, you know, a few that I would really encourage partners to sort of look into, right? Uh, number one is around the sort of mid-range storage, uh, uh, you know, space, right? Uh, why I say mid-range is that if you look at the storage market, mid-range is really the fastest growing, uh, you know, part of the market, right? And, uh, you know, we obviously have really sort of competitive, uh, you know, platforms in that space. For example, our power store, our hyper-converge, our unity sort of storage platform. So that's number one. Number two is around um, as a service or Apex, right? Um, you know, that is our as a service portfolio. And uh, I think we're really, really excited about Apex. Um, and we're launching it here in APJ very shortly. So number two is around Apex, uh, you know, that partners should really, uh, you know, look out for. Uh, number three is around sort of the... Um, workforce transformation. I think we were mentioning earlier that, you know, PC demand has been really surging. We do expect that to continue. In fact, you know, uh, you know, recent survey showed that 80 over percent of companies plan to work in a hybrid sort of work environment, even, you know, so after the pandemic sort of stabilizes, right? So we do expect workforce transformation, you know, to definitely, uh, you, you know, definitely continue. And then last but not least, I think, um, I think the other opportunity for partners is around sort of the acquisition space, right? Uh, you know, at Dell, we have a number of very attractive programs to sort of motivate partners to go after the acquisition space. Let me circle back to your Apex point earlier on. So as a service is something that is gaining more traction, uh, more and more people are open to consumption-based models since the pandemic hit. Um, so what is Dell Apex uptake like in APJ? Well, we are really excited by, uh, by it, Sheena. So as I mentioned, we are planning to launch very soon. Uh, we haven't actually launched it yet in uh, APJ. Launched it in the US, but uh, we're quite on track to launch it here, uh, you know, quite soon. So really excited. Um, you know, Apex for us really brings our as a service, uh, you know, capability across our entire, uh, you know, entire portfolio, right? So, you know, we have a couple of different offerings in Apex. We have what we call Apex Custom which is something, something that's customizable. So partners can really customize and really come up with their own, uh, you know, as a service offering. Uh, the second one is what we call Apex Data Storage Services, which is sort of a pre-bundle, uh, you know, service, right? That, uh, you know, partners can actually, uh, you know, purchase, right? Uh, so that's another offering. We have another uh, offering called Apex Cloud, which is really the cloud, uh, you know, offering, whether it's hybrid or private, right? Uh, as a service model, right? So these are some of the examples 
of the um, you know Apex offerings. But really excited. I think partners will play a huge part in our Apex uh, you know strategy. And maybe just one more thing I want to quickly say about Apex is that Dell's strategy is really to let partners uh, focus on the services uh, you know element. Right. We will sort of take the um, sort of the boring stuff, right, which is like the deployment, the IT maintenance, and we will actually own the asset. Uh, during Apex, right? So partners can just focus on actually providing their own managed services, migration services, right? And hold a relationship with the customer, right? So that's really the, uh, the Apex model. For us. I see. So in, a- in APJ, um, will you be looking at key markets to focus on to launch Apex or are, is it going to be widely available throughout the region? It will be in all our major countries, um, uh, Sheena, right? So I think um, the, the key ones that we're launching sort of in the first wave is around obviously the more sort of a mature I guess countries would be ANZ, Singapore, uh, you know Korea, Japan these are some of the more sort of mature you know markets but I think the plan is that yes we will after that bring it on to sort of other countries within APJ. So in the short term what are the sort of opportunities you see for partners in the next three to six months? Is there anything that's going to be very different um, uh, from different countries? Regarding Apex, actually, no? Uh, yeah, regarding Apex. Um, not really. I think the offerings, as I mentioned, those I explained, right, are going to be quite consistent, uh, you know, during our sort of, uh, you know, launch countries. So, if there is one thing that partners should focus on in 2022, like one thing that they should invest in, if there's only one thing, what would you tell them to focus on? Wow, one thing would be... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> one thing... Um, look, I, I think I sort of mentioned over there, you know, quite a few, uh, you know, different areas. But I think if there's really one sort of thing to look at would be sort of the mid-range storage, uh, uh, you know, space, right? And again, why I sort of went back to that is because I think it's the sort of the biggest, you know, near-term opportunity that is right now there for our partners. Uh, so the mid-range storage market, I think, would be sort of the 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 if I had to prioritize right, which is difficult, I think would be sort of the mid range coverage. Okay, so TB, how about yourself? Um, what are you most excited about uh, from Dell in twenty twenty two? Most excited about would be Apex. I think we you know spent a bit of time talking about it already. I'm really excited because uh, we really believe that you know purchase sort of behavior in the next couple of years will be rapidly moving, mm-hmm. and uh, again we believe that Apex that the uh, our portfolio is really differentiated and, uh, you know, would be really attractive to our partners. Okay, so as we wrap this up, um, TB, do you have any final thoughts, any final things that you want to say to our channel partners and to the audience? Yeah, definitely. Thanks again, Sheena. I do want to thank our partners. Um, you know, as I mentioned, the partners are really, really thriving and, uh, you know, our sort of a huge success could not have been without our, our APJ partners, right? So huge thanks, I think, to our APJ partners. And second of all, I think to partners that have not worked with us, we uh, you know also ask that you give us a chance. We know you have a choice and uh, we definitely want to earn your trust, right? So I think a big call out to our partners too is that please do give us an opportunity for those who haven't worked with us. So thank you so much for spending time with us today and telling us all about um, your year and what's coming up next. So we're very excited to see you um, at CCF online virtually this year. Great. Thank you so much, uh, you know, Sheena. Thank you for having me and, uh, you know, really, really nice to be here at the Singapore Botanical Garden. Thank you. Thank you.